I was drawn to Christine because of my interest in movies about film production. Whether it's a movie about making movies or about running a local news station. Uh, fire just called. Pickup truck went off the road on Orangeville. Chubbuck, can you get out there, please? Uh, no. Sorry, I can't. Okay. What do you mean you can't? I'm tucking in that hospital piece. Uh, I need more time. You're shitting me. I thought you finished with that last week. That was part one. <laughs> what is with this zoning obsession of yours? It's inane. No, it's important. Yeah, I know, this probably looks terribly boring to most people, but it's riveting stuff to me. And its quality is ascended even higher by the great dialogue between characters. Also, if it bleeds, it leads is not some concept, Mike. It's a, it's a catchphrase that you picked up at a conference in Cleveland last month. Chubbuck, this is not the bait club. Well, this is a joke. This sort of thing, it'll make us a joke. Mike, I gotta side with Chris on this one. Steve, you do weather. I only expected a period piece about news reporting in 1974, but what I ended up getting was actually completely different. That would normally annoy me, but the real meat of Christine turned out to be great. Christine tells the story of the titular character who's having a really hard time with every aspect of her life. She loves her job, but hates the direction that her boss keeps pushing her in. She's never had a serious relationship, and living at home with mom isn't making that any easier. So the film follows Christine's misadventures as she tries to do what her boss wants while keeping her work creative and enjoyable. She tries to balance her friendship with Jean while swooning over George, attempting to tolerate her pot-smoking mother, and volunteering at the children's hospital all while keeping a lid on her sanity, and failing miserably. But I thought people were supposed to like me for who I am. That it's what's on the inside that counts. They are. But you have to show them who you are. Well, how do I do that? The entirety of the story is designed to revolve around Christine. And depending on how you view her character, this can easily make or break your opinion on the movie. There is no doubt that Christine is purposely written as a brat. She has to have her way with everything and she has an extremely difficult time dealing with criticism. She's a difficult character to like, but it is precisely because of that why I like her character so much. She's a pain in the ass to deal with, she's a bitch, but she's realistic. She has real problems, and she has a hard time confronting them or opening up to other people about it, which eventually becomes her ultimate downfall. People are coming here from I'm sorry, all can over. we just stop for a second, Jane? Jane, yeah. stop. Uh, can, you, can, you, can you get Gail? I thought she was meant to get some fresh flowers. Oh, yeah, I told her to. It must have slipped her mind. It slipped her mind? Well, I can't yeah. think about anything else. Sorry, so we're, we're, you're going to have to... Uh, someone get some fresh flowers. The supporting cast do exactly that. They support the star of the movie and not much else. Really, their purpose is to give Christine someone to talk to, someone to vent on, or someone to push away. Upon seeing the film a second time, it becomes obvious how many people around Christine were trying to help her. That guy was a real pistol, huh? That was real different, Chris. You know, it wasn't supposed to be different, it was supposed to be good. Even in the case of her boss, hey, Mike, what do you think? I was trying to tap into some real suffering. It wasn't a story. The guy burned himself going back in for cigarettes. But Mike, that's exactly what you've been asking for. It was, it was raw. And the man had an irony to him. We're not making irony. We're making news. I mean, where was any footage of the smoldering house? At least that would be something. You just showed his face. But his face was burnt. You showed a guy talking. Mumbling, actually. As much of an antagonist as he is, you can't really blame the guy for trying to turn a profit. After all, it's his job to keep the station running and everyone else employed. Granted, his tone doesn't need to be so abrasive. But, quite honestly, I have a hard time believing that Christine would be capable of taking criticism from anyone. Despite being such a difficult co-worker, Christine's passion for her job does shine through. 
It's only because she's at such odds with everyone that she consistently fails and her frustration compounds as others around her continue to succeed, all the while being completely oblivious to the comfort that everyone around her keeps trying to offer. It's the classic archetype of the tragic hero, and it's pulled off so well here. And all of that is just the core of the movie. Add on top of that great acting across the board, excellent cinematography, the costume designs and props to make it feel like it's 1974, all of it is an absolute masterclass of filmmaking. Even if you're not that big into the movie setting, it still does an excellent job at being a backdrop and nothing more. It's there for you to appreciate, but it never gets in the way. I will say that some scenes drag on for a bit much and the ending is really obvious. You'll see it coming a mile away, even if you're not familiar with the story that this movie is based on. The biggest hurdle, however, is Christine herself as a character. If you don't keep an open mind and you simply take Christine at face value, then you're going to have a really difficult time getting through this movie. You're going to be pulling your hair out in every scene that Christine makes a mockery of herself in. If you can't stand an overly emotional drama and can't accept a 30-year-old woman who acts like a teenager, then you're not going to enjoy this movie. But if you want a character-driven story about how one woman can just constantly mess up so hard at life, then this is one well worth checking out. And we are back. In living color with our exclusive interview of the President of the United States, Richard Milhouse Nixon. Mr. President, just before the break, we were discussing the pending impeachment investigation. And I guess we're all wondering, how are you feeling about your ability to defend yourself against the charges? Thank you for watching my review on the movie Christine. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe. Well, that's very interesting to hear you say that, Mr. President. It begs the question, is it paranoia if indeed everyone is coming after you?